Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine with Cindy. Today, we're going to have a little porch swing wisdom. Things that I think we need to know and live by in our hearts. And the thing I want to talk to you today is about your authority, what you can do to stop the devil, and what you can do to stop all the attacks and circumstances that keep hovering over your head. And the first scripture I want to tell you is Ephesians 6.10. And it says, Finally, be strengthened in the Lord and in the strength of his might. And so you know your, your strength comes from the Lord and the power of his might. And I want you to know when the devil is attacking your body or when he's attacking your finances, this is what I want y'all to see. This girl is unstoppable because I think that's how we should be. This is how we should live our lives. We're unstoppable. We're unbeatable. The devil can't put his stuff on us because you have authority. That God has given you all authority and he's given you strength. He has given you strength to live by and to work out of. And so when the devil comes around and, he, and you start feeling sick and you start feeling tired, you start saying, the Lord sent his word and he healed me. The Lord is in the midst of me and everywhere I go. And he takes away all sickness. This is the word, the promises that God has given you in the Bible. That's from Exodus. And then this one is, my God supplies all my needs through his riches and glories. And that's in Philippians. So I want you to know there's a promise for everything that you're going through in the Bible, whether it's sickness, whether your husband needs a job, whether it's, it's um, whatever it is, family problems, unsaved loved ones, um, discouragement, fear, and anxiety. They've, the Word of God is filled of him because he does not want us to be defeated. He wants us to be this unstoppable girl. And to be unstoppable, we need to do a couple of things, and that's spit at the devil the promises that are in the Word of God. I mean, just keep speaking them out over and over and over again, out loud, telling the devil who you are in Christ and that he can't have any power over you in the name of Jesus. You know, we have a spiritual warfare that we, once in a while, we're just going to have to stand, stand our ground in Christ to know who you are, stand your ground, and spit at the face of the devil. Because this is what the Lord says in Luke 10, 19. It says, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome. Now listen to what he says. To overcome. What is he telling us? All the powers of the enemy. Okay, that's what he's saying. And let me repeat this. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome. Now listen to what he says. All of the power of the enemy. And then this is what he says. Nothing, nothing will harm you. Here you go. Be that unstoppable woman in your life. Don't let the woman beat you up. Don't let them. I'm sorry. Don't let the devil beat you up. Because when you wake up in the morning, this is what I want the devil to say. I want the devil to say, "Oh my God, she's up again. Run for the mountains." Because they're scared of you and the word that's in you. I want you to target your problem, be specific with your problem, and be diligent with speaking the words. That's how we become unstoppable in Christ with his power in us. Go out and make it a great day. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye-bye.